Yesterday we arrived in uh, San Giovanni Rotondo, which is where Padre Pio spent 50 years in a Capuchin friary, uh, kind of away from the world, but the world came to him. He was very much like some of our other saints who had a real gift for spiritual direction, counseling, confession, like St. John Vianney, so people flocked here from all over the world. They wrote to him from all over the world. Uh, he was known for, I think, being so caught up in St. Francis's following of Christ that many aspects of his life paralleled St. Francis, from believing that his crucifix had spoken to him to bearing the stigmata or wounds of Christ in his own body. I thought that was very well portrayed, in fact, by the mosaics, which have recently been installed in the new church of St. Pius, St. Pio, uh, St. Padre Pio, uh, that paralleled moments in the life of St. Francis with the life of St. Padre Pio with the life of Christ in the background. So it was an interesting visit for me because I didn't know that much about him, but I intend to learn more about him. Something about the way that he tried to follow Christ by following a particular example of a particular saint was very interesting.